Hello, welcome to Afterlife Airlines, a short little game developed by Charlie Boyfriend, available on itch.io. And, well, it's about looking for a cat in the airport between life and death. I guess we'll see what that means. And I guess a bit of a content warning, there's discussions of death. How fun. That's a new game. Welcome to After Live Airlines with Charlie Boyfriend. Check the content warning. Yeah, well, the content warning against discussions of death. And I guess uh, mild swearing. I don't know if you consider that a content warning, you know, just mild swearing. <laughs> I guess you might get demonetized on YouTube. There's too much swearing. There's excessive swearing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hello, uh, Kukiyom, by the way. Uh huh. Where are we? I don't remember. Do you remember? The 21st night of September. I know. Um, I woke up to the sound of my alarm. When? After looking around a bit, I noticed Parsnip wasn't on her bed. Okay, I assume Parsnip is the cat. Unusual, but nothing impossible. She's usually a sleepyhead, though. I must have been wondering where she could be. You know, actually, the cat emotes are very appropriate for this game. Uh, after looking around a bit and not seeing her, I went to my friend for help. Scarlet seemed very worried for Parsnip. She helped me put up posters around town. She's always such a huge help. Then, uh... After a few days passed, I recall finally getting a call. I didn't recognize the voice, nor did I introduce themselves. But they urged me to head to the Black Forest. Hmm, I guess, Black Forest. That's not, <laughs> you know, doesn't sound om uh, om ominous at all. Apparently, Parsnip had been seen there. Of course, I went to check. I like her to wander off like that. Uh, there are, were a lot of rocks and such. I might have tripped while I was at it. Who knows? But this place doesn't seem like the Black Forest. Nor does it seem like any other familiar place. Maybe I should try to get home so I can continue looking for Parsnip. Well, this is Jules Hart, whom you will be, play be playing as. You can move him around with the arrow keys. Who is this person? You know, who is this person narrating the game? Is it God? Uh, he's a very curious guy. If you see something interesting, you could get more information uh, by pressing Z. Uh, yes, classic RPG mix game controls. Uh, he also seems to have like weird, I don't know, bug antennas. I don't know. These full of these flowers have a familiar scent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is where I woke up from. At least it's soft. A soft square. Uh, I can save the game. Any quests? We have do we have any main quests? Friendly quests? Hmm. Now why do we have a quest log? You <laughs> know, that's kinda weird. I don't know if that's part of the game or is that just part of the default UI that the developer didn't bother, you know, removing. I'm not sure. Can't tell. Hey, this game is black and white, by the way. I believe it was part of the uh, black and white game jam. So that's kind of like the theme. Everything's black and white. Uh, more flowers in the pot. The smell isn't as familiar. Hmm. Go down here. This guy is sleeping sound. Hmm. He's like a guard in the gate. I feel like I won't get in trouble if I go through, though. I don't see any other way out. Well, this guy's gonna get in trouble. It's a gate. Uh, input a three digit code. Oh no, puzzles! I didn't realize this was a puzzle game. Um, no idea. Any clue? Uh, well, okay. Oh, that's kind of weird actually. I thought the I thought these like dice pieces or whatever was gonna be part of the puzzle after we get through the gate, but seemingly the password is just right behind it. <laughs> I think. Uh, oh wait. Was it two... Oh, hold on, I didn't really properly memorize it. It was 216. 216. 216. Ta-da. Not very good security, you just put the password right, you know, right there, but... I guess that's assuming you have a top-down view of the world, you know? The protagonist is cheating with my, you know, godlike powers. That wasn't too hard. Thank god the guard didn't wake up. Let's go. Let's now awaken the guard. Okay. 
Thank you, peculiar floor patterns. Anyway. I mean, if you didn't know why I was so surprised that it had puzzle elements, is that I'm really horrible at puzzle games. So I hope that if there are any other puzzles, it isn't, that, you know, it isn't too hard. Uh, what's it? Uh, what's this? Bleh. What is this place? I don't know. Hmm. All the plants here seem withered. Nothing, uh, nothing looking scarred this garden. A vetting machine. It doesn't take coins. What does it take? Does it take credit card? You know, I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Well, I've never seen the vetting machine that's taken a credit card or a debit card or whatever. Uh, again, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, a lot of things are being modernized and just turned into like, you know, you just, you just tap something and you pay for it, basically. I mean, I know in, uh, at least where I live, well, I don't know how, you know, how early that uh, public transportation has adopted it around the world. Probably in Japan, it's been a thing for so long, actually, when I think about it. But at least where I live, you know, it's, I, I think, like, at least a, a couple of years ago, have we adopted the, the idea of just using a card, you know, just using a card to, like, tap and then use the, the, bu the bus or the subway. It used to be like tokens, or you just use cash or whatever, but now it's like just tapping with a card, you know? A uh, board with a lit up text. It would be more interesting if I could read it. Mm, if only I could read. If only I wasn't illiterate. Um, well, I'm assuming the protagonist can read. Rather, it's just in a different language. Seems to be a necklace. Hmm. More vending machines. What are you? Do I get a random battle? It's like, do 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 you know? It's like... Panicked ghost. My flight is so soon, I lost my favorite necklace. Uh, can I help? You just find my necklace. I can't do my final departure without it. That seems a bit dramatic. I'll look around for it and I want to help. You have unlocked your first quest. You may press X or escape to access the menu for all your quests. Okay. Okay, the quest system is real. I don't know, it, just, it feels weird to have like quests. Because I feel like in my head when I think quests, I think of like medieval fantasy games you know and this isn't really a medieval fantasy game but that's fine i also like mmos i guess you know i also think of mmos um oh she can't get, do her final departure without her favorite necklace you gotta find a necklace well we know where the necklace is kind of explore some more though can i what? hmm nothing else well seems to be a stall for this little cafe uh no one here though Locked door, probably staff only. I guess they're not open yet. What is this actually? The water of these fountains looks so clear. Oh, it's a fountain. <laughs> you know, it didn't look like a fountain to me. I guess you have limited graphics, but it just doesn't look like a fountain to me. It looks like, um, I don't know, a pulsating uh, snow cone. Is that was what that looks like to me anyway. Like a giant <laughs> pulsating snow cone. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else to explore. So, we just pick up the necklace, I guess. Maybe this belongs to that ghost. It's the only other, you know, item that I can pick up in, on this floor here. So, here you go. In your hand, that's my necklace! You must be here to have it over. I'm so grateful, thank you. Glad to help. Somewhere a lock has been opened. Wow, amazing. So grateful. Alright, uh, which door, though? I don't want to go. I uh, probably don't want to go back. Double doors. Not sure why this has two. It's also locked. Hmm. Is this locked? That is not locked. It leads into a room. Uh. Right. Yes, sir. I know you think your son hasn't done a single sin, but we can't exactly change the destination now that. Uh, no, that's not. No, uh, I just work here. I'm not the judge of. Okay, I'll contact the overseer to see if we could maybe send him somewhere nicer. Hold on. Who are you? Me? I'm Jules. I'm looking for my... You don't seem dead to me. Huh? That's a strange compliment, but thank you. You know, you're not... You know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's a great pickup line, you know? You just say, you don't seem dead to me. You know? And this... And then that's how you, uh, get all of the dates, I guess. I don't know. No, no, no. Are you a new hire? 
I'm supposed to be the only human around here. You sneak past security. Uh, you mean the guardian of that gate? Uh, they were sleepy. I let them rest. Hell. Even so, you should be decaying rapidly already. I'm just looking around for my cat. Do you know where you are right now? No, not really. How did you die? I haven't, as far as I know. Well, it sure looks like it. This is the Afterlife Airlines, the airport before the grand final departure. I'll let him talk. It's the last place before the new beginning. Wherever that is. You know, you, just, you, know, you get isekai somewhere? No. The destination is closely tied to one's personal beliefs or desires. Ah yes, if you believe hard enough to being isekai into a medieval fantasy world uh, where you're the main protagonist and then you have like superpowers or whatever, you can do anything you want <laughs> or whatever, then you get to do so, I guess. Uh, I'm Lucy. Oh, Lucy. That sounds like a feminine name. I thought the... <laughs> I don't know. I just assumed they were a dude. But Lucy sounds like a feminine name, so it's actually probably a woman. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway. I, I had no customer service. Sometimes people from the afterlife want to make sure that their loved ones are about to reunite with them. Uh, now I'm, I'm stuck with his voice now. I'm stuck with like a, I don't know. I try to do like a deeper, like disgruntled, <laughs> you know, customer service worker. <laughs> Um, but now, now I've messed up. I don't know what kind of voice I'm supposed to give to Lucy. Ah, oh, whatever. It's a messy system. I'm very busy. I need you to tell me why you're here as so I can continue my work. I said it already. I'm looking for my cat. I'm looking for my cat. She was supposedly seen at the Black Forest. And I went to look for her. I think I hit my head. Classic, you know, RPG, you know, protagonist amnesia. And now I'm here. Hmm. But to me, it sounds like you died that moment, there and then. But it's weird how they kept you, uh, kept you this human-like. Maybe you really are supposed to work here, like me. You know, you're the, you're the new intern. Uh, but that's absurd. You aren't even floating. And Lady Death told me I'm a special exception. Who's that? Uh, Lady Death, uh, the one who handles this airport and pilots all the flights. Someone in her staff must have messed up since you're here. Does she know where Parsnip is? You don't really seem to get it. If you want to meet her, you'll have to help me with some errands. Then I'll have the free time to arrange a meeting. Help some customers there, will you? Come, uh, or come to back? Uh, come back to me, rather. Uh, come back to me after that. Okay. Ah yes, and thus our new employment training has started. Lucy's errands. I mean, Lucy, yeah, Lucy is a very feminine name as far as I know. And again, I'm horrible with names. I mean, I don't know what names mean. Uh, sometimes I don't know how to pronounce names. Busy Lucy. Human spotted in the airport area. Uh, uh, yeah. He's a new recruit. Don't worry about it. He doesn't float. Well, that's just because, uh... Okay. Explaining the anomaly. That is... Jewels, I guess. Various pieces of paper seems unimportant. Seems like some sort of acknowledgement. Employee of the month, maybe. A bookcase full of different, well, books. Yes. Counterfile files, counterfile files. All right. Oh, I always try. I always just interact with everything in the world just to get some flavor text and understand what the world is. Yeah. I should probably look for some people to help. Oh, there's more people now. More people for the Afterlife or Afterlife Airlines. Play okay, the game. Also, I, is that Lady Deaf? Can't seem to interact with it though. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Behind these ones is a rather masterfully painted portrait. Oh, I might have read that already. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, just look for people to help. Uh, what are you doing? You waiting? Singing ghosts. La di da di da. Uh, you need some help? L no, not quite. Okay. Alright. No help. What about you? Do you need... Can you name my goldfish? Would you? Uh, sure, yeah. I have three options, but I can't choose one. And I also forgot the third option. 
Mm, can't be that good if you forgot. Right. I did write it down on a note, but I must have dropped it while I was running in a circle in the east wing. Someone probably cleaned it off already. I'll find enough for you, don't worry not. Fishy fishy. We have to find the fishy fishy note in the east wing. Um, east wing over here somewhere? East or never, you know, never eat shredded wheat. East is right, right? I don't really see a note anywhere though. What do you mean by east wing? Like go further beyond the east? Not sure. Hmm. Not a bunch of customers in here actually. They're all ghosts, by the way. They're all like Pac-Man ghosts. That how it works. Uh, are you in need of help? Oh, no need. All right. Hello. Do you need help? Uh, I was hoping someone would ask. I want to drink the water from the fountain. Huh? But I'm too tired. You know there's vending machines, right? That won't do. I want the water from the fountain. Uh, Alright. I don't see why not. Take my bottle with you. Alright, won't take long. Okay, I have to bottle up the fountain water. I have a bottle, just need to get some water in it. Now I think about it, this might be prohibited. Oh, uh, what's done is done. I'm gonna bring it to, to the ghost. You know, I mean, this is... This is the afterlife, so I guess I don't know if the same rules apply, but that's disgusting, actually. You know, I don't, I don't know, I don't imagine flowing fountains at like a public location is very clean. You know, it's because I'm assuming anyway they're reusing the same water, you know, to go up the fountain spout. So like, it's probably very kind of moldy and has a lot of bacteria, and you never know what people like put in the fountain as well. Anyway, uh, hey, got your fountain water. Oh ho! Thank you so much. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Strange, but I think I helped. I have completed a bottle fountain. I have done one friendly quest. Oh, uh, thank you. Mm, yes. All right. Talk to you. Are you in need of help? Ah, uh, no, I'm quite all right. Thank you. Need help? With what? Anything, really? No, no, thank you. Need help with anything? Huh? You a waitress or something? No need, thank you. Okay. Need help? Huh? No thanks. Okay. Okay, they're just dating. You can just- Wait, you, you're all ghosts? You can date and stuff? Is that how it works? What happens- Well, what happens- What happens to the relationship after you pass on? You know, I don't know how that works. I guess they said it depends on your beliefs. I don't know. You have the same religious beliefs? Do you believe in anything after life? Some some people don't believe there's anything after, you know, the, you die, so... How's that work? Anyway, uh, do you have anything? Oh, maybe, but it's a little embarrassing. I'm not one to judge, go on. I'm recently employed and I forgot to, the code of the fridge. The fridge is locked with the code? Yes, the code is next to it, but it's written so cryptic. I just don't have the time for that right now, since I'm assigned to take customers. I know it's a little silly. No, not at all. I'll figure it out. Oh, thank you. The fridge is in the back room. I'll unlock it for you. Okay. We have unlocked the friendly quest. The fridge. Hmm. So that was the fishy fishy. Also, I noticed details level one, <laughs> you know? Do we level up in this game? East wing. I still don't know... East wing? Can I go back? Would it be around here somewhere? Hmm. I don't know this this counts as like East Wing. Oh, here you go. Okay, this is East Wing. I don't know why. When I think East Wing, I think of the hallway or something, you know? But this is just a room, so I didn't think this was the East Wing. Bubble. Could this be the note the little guy mentioned? I wouldn't know what it says, but it does look handwritten. Let's bring it to him. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. You'll reunite your uh, darling wife soon. She's arrived recently. I just wait for a little bit. The flight to heaven is booked pretty tight. There's a lot of people going to heaven. Is there not like... I don't know. An alternative to heaven? You know, sub-heaven? I imagine a lot of people believe in heaven, so like, it's probably very overpopulated. Is all I'm saying. 
That's why you gotta believe in the the, the lesser known heaven, which is heaven two. Heaven heaven two point five. That's the one nobody knows. No, um, where's the? Oh yeah, this one. This ghost. I'm not sure what this says, but I found it from the office. Oh, it's my no. Thank you ever so much. Bubble. Uh, okay, on to the next step. Choose a name that would suit my fish. Bubble, Paris, or friend. Well, friend is. I don't know. I mean, some people name their pets like Buddy or something. I guess. I mean, in fact, isn't that like a normal name as well, like a human name? That's not. I don't know. It just sounds too generic, though. It sounds confusing, you know. Because sometimes you'd be referring to the word friend. Are you talking about your pet? Or are you talking about just your friend? You know. So it's confusing. Paris. Again, just reminds me of another word. It reminds me of Paris. You know, it just reminds me of the place. Um, but I guess it also is a name. I don't know. Eh, I like Bubble. I mean, Bubble is kind of cliche, but it makes the most sense for like a goldfish. Hmm, you really think so? Yeah, that she'll do then. Thank you for your help. Glad I could do so. Glad I could help. Well, I've done two quests. Hooray! Me and Bubble are so happy. Great. Good for you. Now I must unlock the secrets of this fridge. What's in here, actually? Anything else? Oh, this is are these, are these just, is this a big sofa or just the break room, I guess. Look at the clock, by the way. The clock seems to go backwards. No idea what purpose that would serve. Input code. No code. Alright, time for crypticness. I don't know if that's a word. This passage is as such. Apparently, this has the answer to the fridge's three-digit code. All right. Um. Well, I've passed like elementary school. I think this is referring to shapes. You know, I, I imagine you could like kind of overthink this. In fact, I might be underthinking this, <laughs> but I think it's just the size of the shape, you know, or the edges. I guess that's all you need to know. So, what is that again? This is called. This is a hexagon, right? Hexagon is like the six-sided shape, I think. Hexagon, triangle, and square. So like six, four, three. Probably. Six, four, three. There you go. I'm a genius. It's opened. Can I, can I grab some snacks? No, guess not. There you go. You got it done? I'm so relieved. Thank you very much. Happy to help. The fridge has been completed. I have done all of the friendly quests as well. Main quest completed. Lucy's errands. New quest. Permission granted. You have leveled up. Plus one to... Dexterity. I don't know. Got some errands done. You must have done your part during this time. I did help three people, yes. That's quite enough. Uh, I just read that kind of weird. Anyway, it's like, it's like that's quite enough. You know, it's like, stop it. Stop helping people. Now, um, well, here's the key to Lady Death's office. Just go through the double doors. She might let you leave or whatever it was that you wanted. Thank you so much, Lucy. I have to get back to work. Thanks for the help, Aaron boy. I must now go to Lady Dev's office. Prank calling the airport is strictly prohibited. This offense will be filed under the Hell criminal record soon. Okay, there's Hell too, by the way. You gotta go to the... Hell court. And get sentenced to the Hell prison. Oh no. Let's go. Hmm. Footsteps here. Hello. Don't speak just yet. She's examining me pretty seriously. I recognize an alive human when I see one. Who are you? Well, my name is Jules. I think Jules, right? That's how you pronounce it? And why has Sir Lucy let you in here? Sir Lucy? I mean, well... Sir... Again, I don't know if Lucy's a man or a woman or neither, <laughs> you know? Um, sir is kind of like a masculine title, but they can be gender neutral, I mean, depending on your world, you know? 
sir can also just be like an honorary title that can apply to anyone you know if you want to go like very like uh you want to be pedantic i guess it, it, back in the old days those kind of like medieval titles it would be like it'd be like well it'd be lord you know it'd be lord and lady right ah, anyway because when i think sir i think of like a knight you know but it's not necessarily you can use sir is not really a medieval thing it's just that when i think of sir i think of again like medieval rpgs like medieval fantasy rpgs <laughs> i'm just looking for my cat a cat i haven't seen one in a long long time Really? Y you can meet her too. Our step is very cuddly. Do you realize who I am? Uh, Lady Death, I assume? This is supposedly her office, at least. What does that mean to you? What has she been asking for? Nothing, really. We haven't had a chance to meet yet. I'll introduce you to my cat if you take me to her. Hmm, I have a clue. But you won't like the answer. Tell me... Has your skin started decaying yet? Ah, these questions again. I'm just fine. I fell down while looking for the cat. And now that I'm here, it seems there's no way outside. There is no outside anymore. This is the medium between the physical life and the afterlife. Once you come in, there's a process to return you. Uh, or once you come in... Hmm, kind of weird sentence. There's a process to return you to simple matter? No. I think it's, um... Uh, I don't know. Once you come in, there's a process to returning you in a simple matter. People like to wear sheets to hide it, though. Hmm. Or, there's a process of, I don't know why this sounds weird to me. Once you come in, there's a process to returning you to simple matter. Oh, matter, as in like, I don't know, I couldn't really understand it. But it was, um, chemistry. <laughs> you know, it's biology. Matter as in biology, you know, like solids and liquids and gas. I thought it was like simple because I always mix it up myself. I, I always mix up manner and matter. So I thought it was simple manner or something. I don't know. I uh, hate X-Men, by the way. Uh, there's a process to return you to simple matter. Okay, now it makes sense in my head. As in like, yeah, returning to dirt or something, you know, like decomposing. People like to wear sheets to hide it, though. Okay, so that's why everyone's wearing ghost sheets. They are typical ghost sheets. I don't think I follow. I'm here to see my cat and Lucy said you might know about it. That Lucy. Normally it's a journey with no looking back, but I'm surprised you managed to keep your humanity. Maybe my staff messed up. Or maybe it's sheer will and luck combined. You don't seem to want to die. Goodness, of course not. That'd be so inconvenient. I have to miss the picnic with Scarlet next Tuesday. Maybe I'll let you see your cat and let you out, as an apology for our mistakes. It's not like you'll remember the next morning anyway. But, on one condition. Oh shit. I want to come with you. It's been so long since I've seen a cat. Oh. Talk to me once you're ready. Talk to me once you're ready. That's such a classic, you know, such a classic line in every RPG game. I don't know, it's weird. Back to life. I don't, again, I'm gonna save. I don't know if there's any reason to save. Also, the save name says Meow for some reason. Meow. I'm just a guard. I'm just a guard. I'm just a guard. I'm just a guard. Stop. You violate the law. Okay. The plants to decorate the throne. But really, it's just a branch in a vase. And you're right, X-Man. Yeah, Lucy as in Lucifer. I, I, I didn't make the connection there. I just took it very literally as in Lucy, as in just like a normal name. When I think about it, no, I, I, if, that, if, if it's Lucy the Lucifer, I, I guess Lucy is a dude. I mean, that's what I assume initially. I just assume, you know, Lucy by itself sounds like a feminine name to me. Ready? Uh, no, I leave. I leave the game. I go home. Oh, the airport seems empty again. Perhaps everyone's on board. I leave. I go home. I, I instantly leave. I, I do not continue with Lady Death. I I go to the fridge and I steal all the food. No, I go to I go to Lucifer. I I murder him. I destroy him and take his powers of of uh, his rule of hell and become the new king of hell. 
I become the demon lord. Okay, never mind. It's funny how you can you can leave and then, then there's just nothing left. They give you the choice to just go back, but there's there's nothing to interact with. Anyway. Alright, fine. In that case, let's go. Yep. There in the grass there's someone familiar. Parsnip. Yep. For a second I thought I'd never see you again. Ah. Oh. She's very darling. Unfortunately, seeing her here, do you realize the implications? Hmm. I don't know if this choice matters. Uh, can I con continue to just be ignorant, <laughs> you know? I don't know. What is it? So, this is the barrier between death and life itself. Whatever happened to her was the last thing they ever did. Oh, so she's dead. <laughs> you you should have told me. Yes, that is the case. Oh, it's not fun, it never is, but I think I can accept it. She's been old for a while. Besides, just seeing her here brought me lots of comfort. Hope she wasn't in pain. She seems to be alright. She's very warm. I could take care of her here. Then you can reunite with her once you come here for real. Although at that point, you probably won't even remember your own name anymore. Well, she seems very comfortable in your arms. If she wishes to stay here, she can. I'll find the answer to that. She's so soft. Thank you for letting me see her. Silly words from someone who seems to be under some level of godhood. <laughs> hmm. Look, I'd like to stay right here for a while. I can either send you back or converse a bit. What do you ask about? You forget about it in the morning, though. Okay. Get some exposition. Okay, fine. Who are you? Me. It's a rather complicated. I'm less of a person, more of an entity, really. You know, the person, the personification. I'm the animification, you know, of, of death. Or the concept of death. I took on the form of this lady death a long time ago. I find it comfortable, and I hope it's more comprehensible for the people. Comprehensible? Cop, cop, right here, comprehensible. I think that death itself is just some woman. Really, my name used to be something else. That doesn't matter anymore. Used to be the Grim Reaper, maybe? Maybe Sharon, you know? That myth about, like, that... Uh, of that, uh... Uh, Greek character. Greek or Roman, I always mix the two. But, you know. That Greek mythology about that... Uh, about the, uh, what do you call it? The, um... I don't know, the boat guy. <laughs> you know, I don't know what you call that. I don't know what you call that occupation. But the boat guy. <laughs> that, like... Carries you over the river Styx, you know? Anyway. Wishes. I don't have much space for those. For now, I like to keep holding this cap. What are you asking about? Okay. Lucy. Lucy, Lucy. He's a good kid. His fate was rather unfortunate. He met his end before any of his parents or friends. He practically begged me to keep him from decaying. He wants to be able to recognize his loved ones when they arrive. His destination is unsure. I wanted to grant that wish, but wasn't sure how. But now he's employed at the airport. Although it's fair to call it employment when there's... Or is it fair to call it employment when there's no payback? Well, that's called, um... Or pay... Or say payback for some reason. No, paycheck. Um... I was gonna say, though, that's just called volunteering. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you need money after death. He agreed to this. Okay. Well, that implies that Lucy's not Lucifer. You know, Lucifer is like a much older entity that is like very like um like it's in the bible you know so so that, that implies that that's not the same lucifer that we know it's just a different character that seems to have a similar name anyway what's what about the airport by naming the place an airport i wish to familiarize it for the people really the process is incomprehensible for the human mind if i try to describe it properly it will cause terror in the recently departed I'm referring to it as flying by plane. I hope to make people feel excitement or familiarity, maybe. What if you, you know, what if you're scared of, of airplanes, though? I mean, I don't know if I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm necessarily afraid of airplanes or riding an airplane. I've just never done so, you know? I have no real desires to either, really. 
I mean, for one, it's expensive. So there's no way I'm going to spend all that money just to go somewhere else around the world. Um, just because, you know, people always say to travel just for the experience. And I'm like, nah, that's okay. I can see, I can see anything, I can, I can see most of the world from here in my computer, you know, I can simply just browse on the internet and see pictures. And I know, obviously that's not exactly the same thing, but like, I don't know, that's enough for me. Is there any real, any real point to just literally just going somewhere else on this giant planet? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, afterlife. It's different for different people. I don't know much since I've been stuck in the medium. I mean airport all this time i wonder how much my afterlife would be like i guess that's impossible though there's no life to after anyhow you'll see yours when the time comes okay afterlife for her when you die in a plane crash if you're already dead well, i imagine well you know it's a supernatural airport not literally an airport but that that well that brings up the question though what if you did die in, you know in real life what happens if you did die in a plane crash wouldn't that make you reprehensive of like this airport you know illusion i guess or this metaphor you wouldn't like this metaphor if you died and then came here i feel like i don't know anyway i guess that's all the things we need to ask lady death don't know more Thank you, really, for letting me see Parsnip once more and not killing me off. <laughs> what a crude way to phrase it. Now, if he could send me uh, back to life, I guess. As agreed, your death's new beginning won't be just yet. Spring back to life, return to your roots. Goodbye, Parsnip. Love you. Oh, wait. Will it hurt? This? No, not one bit. Uh, okay, go for it. You know, that's what they all say. That's what the nurse always says that is that's not gonna hurt and then they stab you with the needle and then it hurts a little bit in fact when jules would wake up from the black forest he wouldn't be able to recall anything that he saw because that would be blasphemy i guess or otherwise he'd be called crazy uh, only a second or two would have passed in real time this, this place where time transitions from old to new from before to after doesn't follow the ordinary rules the only constant here is Lady Death, who would warmly hold your hand when you step into the light. For the day, Jules lives on. I oh, yes. Who knew Death could be a waifu, by the way? As it turns out, the concept of Death is just an anime waifu. I guess there you go. A quaint little game. You know? Interesting little concept, I guess. Of, I guess, Limbo. Is the idea kind of reminds me of a different game that is actually pretty similar i don't remember what it's called though uh what was it i totally forgot but i played a very similar game in the past that was all about like i believe it was like having a job and like passing souls that are afterlife i think or something like that i can't remember exactly but you also had like a cat like co-worker <laughs> i remember you know very similar idea i feel like you're in, you're in this limbo and you're like you know and it's like, it's like a metaphor, right? For like, uh, people passing on. And stuff like that. Anyway, there you go. Very short story. Um, yeah. They, can, they even explain, it's funny, it's like they even explain why the... The souls, I guess, or the ghosts are wearing those sheets. It's funny, it's like a, there's like an in lore, like, it's like a deconstruction of the whole, like, stereotype of the ghost sheets. It's like, actually, they're wearing it because they're decomposing on the inside. I don't know, that sounds inter that sounds interesting to me. Um, anyway. Does it ring any bells? Hold on, let me check. What was it? I can check right now, maybe. So, I found it. So, the, the, the game that I mentioned before, that had, like, kind of, like, a similar kind of idea, was called Soul Harvest, and was developed by Ink Ethic. Available in NGO. Check it out, or you know, watch my playthrough, I guess. But yeah, um, I, I, li I like the concept. Um, what else about this game? The art was okay. You know, they, I feel like the developer, or the well, developer slash artist spent um a lot a lot of time for the beginning cutscene. I feel like you know, remember the the very beginning, um, the the very beginning where the protagonist's eyes like open up, you know. That was very well detailed, you know, for some reason. Well, it's just like, I mean, it's just like a lot of, like, high-budget anime where they spent a lot of, like, t 
time on the eyes, I feel like. Um, the rest of the drawings are okay. No, uh, no, not the... I don't, I don't want to... I guess be insulting, I guess. Uh, even though, I mean, I can't draw better. I don't think it's bad, though. I, I don't think it's like horrible or anything. But, um... It was okay, you know? I, I found it kind of okay. I just felt like it wasn't as detailed as the very beginning. The very beginning where there was a little animation where the eyes opened up was actually beautiful. <laughs> you know, like, it was actually really good. So I guess they didn't spend that much time on everything else, I feel like. Um, I don't know. I'm probably because, they, I mean, you know, people have limited time. You can't spend time on, on every little thing. Uh... Because it would take, you know, so long to, like, finish the game. I imagine, yeah, I mean, I checked, I'm checking the story page right now. It was in the game jam, so it had to be done in 10 days. So that's probably why. They had to, like, rush the art, you know. Um, probably to just get it done. I imagine that they spent a longer time on this if they really wanted to and put more effort into the actual art. It would, like, actually look pretty good. Um, yeah, as it is, it's okay. Um, I don't mind it, though. I wonder why the character has a, a ten eye though. You know, is that part of the supernatural elements where he has weird antennae or tenny antennae? How you say that word? You know, little things on his head uh, because he died, or is that just part of the character? Is that just normal? I don't know. I'm not sure how normal that is. Um, anyway, uh, trying to think anything else. Um, oh, there's a puzzle by the way. I, I actually did not notice it was a puzzle game. It wasn't that hard though. In fact. How many puzzles were there, really? There was, like, just two, really. So it wasn't not that uh, puzzle-heavy. Barely, really. So the puzzles were kind of easy, though. Which is good. <laughs> you know, I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't like, like, puzzles that are too hard. You know? Um... Yeah. The concept, um... I, li I like the metaphor, by the way. Because this, this was part of the, the whole... The, the whole theme is black and white, you know? So, black and white. Uh, life and death, right? So there's that too. So that kind of fits the theme. So that's why it's like in this like black and white uh, color, I guess, style. Also represent limbo, right? Is the idea um, and everything. I'm trying to think. I'm um, there's a few typos. This very like well, just a cup couple really um, that I've noticed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not that much else to say. Pretty short game. I don't know, isn't much to say. Um, relatively, just very lighthearted, actually. You know, despite the the theme involving death and all that, I guess it was relatively not that dark, really. So, eh, you know, just a very uh, straightforward game, I would say. Um, yeah, like how it looked for the most part, and uh, it was pretty good, I would say. Uh, yeah, I guess that's that's all I have to say about uh, this game. So that was it for Afterlife Airlines. I guess uh, if you're on YouTube, you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch. So check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other playthroughs in the channel. So you can look for those if you want. Thanks for watching. Till next time. See you then.